the UFC welterweight division matchup. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Nottingham United Kingdom Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Mr. Untouchable. All right, go into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to the corners, not fight. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the night. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Guys, he's Great punch landed with so much power. <laughs> Unable to connect with the rip. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Spinning back fist. Just misses with the right hook. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Yeah. 
Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, head kick. Take it to the ground. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Connects there with the punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice right hand. Misses with the right. Just over two minutes to go. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. away from landing one of those big right hands. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. 30 seconds to go. Trying to establish that jab once again. from that previous round, DC, and how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight, but I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Ooh, big shot land. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to us fully. 
He throws his jabs. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Flips the punch nicely there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, collar tie. And he comes through with a big knee. a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big punch lands through the middle. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop the real quick leg kick. Blocks the shot. Straight right hand now just misses. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Beautiful strike. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High.
high number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big punch land. Ooh. Good shot. Good shot. Beautiful body kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. What a punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Just over three minutes to go in round three. of this fight, he's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Right on the button. Way to hide that leg kick. Good punch lands. Small single collar tie here. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Hard shots landing on both sides here. That knee, that knee hurt him. Big kick land. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. He connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. And he caught the kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Out of range with that kick attempt. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 20 seconds to go. Just missed with the left there. Great punch. Yes. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. He blocks the shot. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big head kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. to the body now, that one won't land. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. A oh, little single collar tie there, and they separate. Distance gets the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Liver kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Good stick. Big head kick lands. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, straight right. Take down. Lands flush with that right hand. Working out of that southpaw stance. Nice leg kick. It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Final minute. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Straight punch lands. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Big and kick.
30 seconds now to go in the round. Beautiful body kick. 20 seconds left. You got to check these low leg kicks. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize. Oh, now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Continues to mix it up over the head, mixing in some shot. body shots. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, nice round, any guys. major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. to recover full guard there. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Back to his feet. Oh, big head kick. Caught that. Now oh, there's danger in that too. A kick. Here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice punch, Lance. Oh. Back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the getups. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He's done, he's done! What a performance! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision.
uh, two minutes, 59 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Mr. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knock. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.